Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Check tonight, right? But he's not here for just money, no, right? This not. is about proving himself trying to improve his mixed martial arts legacy. Won two titles, no title defenses. That's a big part of the motivation He for takes Conor. a lot of pride in the preparation to getting to the octagon, and you see it every time Conor McGregor fights. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Baldwin, New York, the King! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Big calls from punch land. Now we get back to range. Time it. Oh! These guys throwing early. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And he landed the right hand there. Nice knee to the body there by McGregor. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Big kick lands. Hand. They gotta bronze that left hand and put it in the Hall of Fame. I mean, you know it's coming, but because Connor does such a great job of managing space, he's so quick and so active, you don't know when he's gonna throw that punch. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Connor McGregor. Oh, it lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Beautiful punch. Oh, nice. Nice. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. A little cut below that left eye. 
McGregor gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Punch caught. How about those five minutes? All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. And they separate. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. He lands a big knee to the body. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. And he comes through with a big knee. Wow. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Just throws the right hand there. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Right hand punches the clinch. Nice leg kick. Oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by McGregor. Left hand punch from the clinch. Just missed with the left there. Nice elbow there in the clinch from Connor. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activities and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Connects with a right. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, man, that puck is nasty. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice head kick. Landed. The one-two punch is true. Beautiful spinning attack there. Oh, man. Big knee to the body. Oh, my God. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Connor. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. 
a single collar tie here. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Look at him. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Good jab. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Right back in the clinch. Look for the back hand to get very active. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big punch from the clinch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, collar tie. Great punch. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice one-two there. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. He's got the single collar tie. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. And whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. What a punch. And they separate. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And they shot. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. He lands the head kick. A little single collar tie there. Straight punch lands. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the other. That one appeared to stun him. Who's hurt? Serve him up. Oh! Yeah. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. What a performance. A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 42 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Connor McGregor!
Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.